Alright, Shalom. I'm gonna start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Arachak, Wadash. Double orders to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the old like tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. And uh, you just pretty much saw various clips from these different uh, universities. Where there's a lot of um, protesting and unrest on these different campuses, and they they all are protesting against the the, the Palestinian war that's taking place, which is um, extracting from the taxpaying money of the citizens of Babylon, and the people are fed up. They're they're pretty livid. You know, um, and this is, you know, this is why the scriptures say when the righteous are on authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, you know, it's, it, it, it seems that protecting these 48ers and constantly giving them aid and funding is more prioritized than helping their own civilians. You know, because uh, the people are not doing well at all financially, economically. You know, your, your infrastructure is shit. Everything is falling apart. Um, retail, the retail industry is uh, failing right now. A lot of uh, stores are closing all across the, across the country. It's a lot of uh, layoffs, a lot of teacher layoffs. It, I mean, it's getting pretty bad. You know, the government is losing funding, so they can't uh, complete these roads. You know, it's a lot of shit falling apart in society, and yet this government, this this, this administration is uh, putting this country further into debt, trying to uh, continue to aid this war 
that's clearly one-sided. They don't even need all this help. They don't need all these billions of dollars funded to them. But uh, we know that this is all set up by design. Um, this is going to usher in uh, global tyranny where, you know, it's criminalized to even speak or criticize these people and their Zionist uh, regime. All right. So this is this is another example of uh, pressure from above, pressure from below, order out of chaos. But the scriptures warned that these things would happen. Well, these people are not happy, man. So they're they're you know, I believe some a lot of this is uh, orchestrated, of course, but um, the people really feel this way, and this is part of the division as well in the country. All right, matter of fact, I'm gonna start with that. Let's go to uh, Matthew 12 and 25. And it says, Yahweh knew their thoughts and said, any kingdom divided by civil war is doomed. A town or family splintered by feuding will fall apart. I'll, I'll go to the, uh, see what it says in the Amplified. I like to go to just different translations just to see what it say. It says, knowing their thoughts, Yahweh said to them, any kingdom that is divided against itself is being laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will continue to stand. And uh, it's pretty much the end of this place. We already know it. Okay? And things are going to continue to uh, escalate. It's going to boil over. And right now, you you see it in an effect right now where all these various people on these different campuses all across Babylon and even in other parts of the world, um, this is what's going down. They all are against this war, all right, that's happening in, 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 the, uh, in the East, you know, where uh, these, the, the, the 48ers, you know, they're continuing with their mission to commit ethnic genocide to, you know, take over the land. Uh, we saw the uh, situation escalate between uh, Israel and uh, Iran. And um, we saw an act of cowardice when Iran, you know, pretty much attacked them and it was able to actually touch their, their base, you know, penetrating through their uh, anti-defense and, they tried to downplay it like it wasn't something major, but uh, that was a kink in, in, in their armor that uh, Persia figured out. And uh, they retaliated days later and, you know, they, they propagated in the media that it was a, a major attack inside Iran. But people inside Iran in those places where they said they were attacked said that really nothing happened. You know, some drones got uh shot out of the sky and that was it but they have control of the media so they can spin whatever narrative that they want but it was it, it was it was cowardice it was weak so that's why those persians decided not to even uh retaliate they didn't even uh do anything back but instead they just got another uh, aid package by the billions money that uh, America don't have and they just received that and now they're back to attacking uh, Gaza. I think they're now focusing on Rafa in uh, Gaza. And they're going to, they're, they're starving the people out because they send in, they've been sending, the UN sent uh, aid workers over there to help, you know, give them food and they've been getting striked by the uh, the Israeli Defense Force. So the world is not in agreement with what they're doing, but they're they're just they're gonna do it anyway. Because that's a part of the agenda. And Netanyahu, with his demonic ass, you know, he's looking at what's going on, the reactions here in, in, in the West, and he's saying that it's you know, this is uh this is horrific. You know, this is an act this is an ultimate act of uh anti Semitism, you know. And it's like, damn, so going out there to decry your your your, your genocide on 
a group of people, women, you know, uh, women and children, you know, that's uh, anti-sim. That's what they're saying. So, yeah, the, the, the world is uh, fed up, man. And the scriptures say, was that Job 20 and 27? It says the heavens will reveal his wickedness and guilt and the earth will rise up against them. And that's, you know, what we're seeing because Zionism is being exposed at an, at an all time high. You know, people are further waking up. They're doing their research and these people, they're they're getting. Uh, they're getting surrounded pretty much. They're being forced to. uh address their lies that that they've you know bamboozled the world with and now the chickens are coming home to roost so before you know it their back is going to be against the wall and all the nations are going to be uh rounded against them let me get a uh, jeremiah 49 And uh, 14 through 16. <laughs> and it says, I have heard a report from the Lord and a messenger has been sent to the nations saying, gather together and come against her and rise up for the battle. And that's talking about the herds, talking about Edom. For behold, Edom, I have made you small among the nations and despised among men. And they're they're definitely despised. All right, all this uh, war and, and disturbance of peace, you know, all this bloodshed, all this uh, funding that you don't deserve, you know, taking from taxpayer money, people that are toiling and busting their ass and not doing good. Um, this attack on a, the middle class, the 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 uh, inflation of of, of you know your currency and its uh, devaluation because your government is constantly uh, 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 printing out money and, and 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 funding it to their own initiatives. You know, giving Ukraine funding there that war funding, and nobody benefits but who? Who benefits from that? Putting you further in the debt. Rising the cost of everything. Look at the fuel prices right now. Over in California, <laughs> yo, over seven dollars for for one gallon in California. So this is why they're 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 despised. All right, that that intense uh, dislike for these people is increasing, and that's why you're seeing all these people gathered at these uh protests all over the world against them so it's going to come to an head it says as for your terror the pride and arrogance of your heart have deceived you yeah very proud very arrogant thinking that you could just control the narrative every time you do something you know you just bloodthirsty Causing all these wars and uh, disturbances. You think everybody should just bow down and accept everything that you do? It says, Oh, you who live in the clefts of the rock, Salah, also called Petra, who hold and occupy the height of the hill, though you make your nest as high as the eagles, I will bring you down from there, says the Lord. And that was in the uh, the Amplified Bible. Let me go to other uh, good news. And it says, I said, Edom, I've, I have received a message from the Lord. He has sent a messenger to tell the nations to assemble their armies and to get ready to attack you. And, uh, is hey, is it, that's what's gonna happen in this uh, final world's war? Your back is gonna be completely against the wall. All right. 
there's the, and they're talking about how Iran is uh another week away from the uh the uranium enrichment uh level to create their nuclear bomb which I believe that they've been reached that level. Plus, they're going to have uh, aid from Russia. Because you know that Iran and Russia, they do trade. So they have weapons. So it's going to be up when that time comes. And the Lord is going to take away all this uh, power that you got. It says the Lord is going to make you weak and no one will respect you. It's already starting to happen now. This is why you need all this uh, aid and protection from uh, the West. Otherwise, they would have been food. All right. The scriptures say there is no peace to the wicked, man. Until, in, until that regime is took down, until basically Esau as a whole is taken down, there will not be any peace on this earth. So right now it's just nothing but chaos, disturbance. All this uh, seditious behavior is because of who's in power. It says your pride has deceived you. No one fears you as much as you think they do. And you start you you start to see that. That's why it says in uh, Joel the third chapter, for uh, these weaker nations to to beat their plowshares into uh, swords and their pointing hooks into spears. And let the weak now say that I am strong. All right. They're not, they're no longer afraid. And then they all just saw with the, uh, the, the, the back and forth between you and Iran. They definitely are not afraid now. It says you live on the rocky cliffs high on the top of the mountain. But even though you live as high as an eagle, the Lord will bring you down. The Lord has spoken. You know, so, you know, their days are numbered, man. And it says, bloody and deceitful men will now live out half their days. All right. So that's why, right, like it says in Revelation 12 and 12, the devil come down having great wrath because he know that they have but a short time. You better believe, you know, more legislation is coming behind all this uh, chaos. This is another uh, pressure from above, pressure from below process. So they can usher in their, their tyranny. All right. So let's go from there to. Um, I'm going to go to the Amplified on this one. I'm going to go to Luke 21. And verse nine, and it says, when you hear of wars and disturbances, civil unrest, revolts, uprisings, you do not panic for these things must First take place first, but the end will not come immediately. <laughs> All right, so this is just, uh, you know, part of the show, okay? And, uh, you know, the Mosai, you know, he's a director and producer of this show, and he loves drama, so this is what we're seeing unfold. But ultimately, uh, Esau is being found out, like it tells you in Jeremiah 49 as well. You know, Esau is... Uh, you know, he's being revealed and, and, and uncovered and he cannot uh, hide himself. So he's getting all the backlash, a lot of shameful spewing, you know, every which way he turns, you know, because his days are numbered, man. It's time for the man of sin to, to, to be revealed. And let me go to uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. Second Ezra is nine, and I'm gonna start at one. It says, He answered, Consider all these things very carefully. When you see that some of the signs I have told you about have appeared, you will know that the time has come when God the Most High will bring judgment on the world He has created. There will be earthquakes, and that's what we've been seeing. Uh, another one hit uh, Taiwan recently. National rebellions. International intrigues on stable leaders, uh, Netanyahu, Biden, 
You know, they're they're clearly unstable. They but they they're about to be the cause of the dissension into this uh, last world war. All right, and they're causing all this unrest where they rule over there in Israel. They're they're it's the same thing that you see on these uh, campuses over here. You see it over there in Israel. All right, it says and confused rulers. Biden is definitely confused. He's not all the way there. I mean, and that's I don't even. I've been saying this for a while. I don't even think it's the real him. You know, the dude's a, the dude that's in there. That's that's his double. He's a he's a drone, and they're just using and and, and controlling this guy. And they're gonna do the same if if they get Trump back up in there. They're gonna use Trump, you know, to uh to do their bidding as well. All that's gonna happen is he's gonna pass the alley oop to Trump if Trump uh gets in there. All right. Because none of these dudes are really running anything. It's the 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 higher ups that are above them that's pulling the strings. It says, when you see these things happening, you will know that they are what the Mosai has spoken about since the beginning of creation. The beginning and the end of everything that happens in this world are clear. And hey, we at the end of uh, the world of Esau. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning that follows. And that's what we're witnessing is why the world is starting to finally come up against them because they already been exposed. Constantly, man. They're, they keep getting caught in their lies. We're in an information age. That's why they want to regulate the internet at some point. There's a ban on TikTok. They just uh, passed it. So we're going to see what happened with this whole TikTok thing. But this is just more to silence the people. This is more uh, tyranny. All right. They want to be able to spin and control the narrative, control all the information. All right. And silence the people that are bringing out the facts, people that are, you know, calling, calling this bluff. So, yeah, man, this is what we're seeing. And it, and it's and it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna stop, man. It's gonna get, going only we're gonna get worse because the conditions are gonna get worse. The resources are are, are gonna get more scarce. The the inflation is not gonna stop. But p the cause of this all is their government wasting all this money on something that doesn't benefit nobody but the top. So I'm going to end off with that, man, Lord willing. And matter of fact, hold on, before I even end off, you saw all these tr these troopers? Why are so many of them at a damn uh, college campus for students that are just protesting? Shouldn't, shouldn't they be at the border right now? They should have been at the border. But I'll let you know what the priorities are. So this place, this place is through, man. Stick a fork in there, man. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all by Shemiel Shai. Until the next lesson, Shalom.